if you was to preach the truth, you are wrong. If you preach the truth today, you wrong. You, 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 you wrong because don't nobody want to hear it. But I talked about perilous time Sunday. And, and the day, oh boy, it's going to be rough. I had a guy tell me today that, man, you be, you be wearing that robe with nine, Hebrew 9, 27. He said, I didn't know what that means until I started seeing you have, wear that robe. And after all you do, after all the praise you don't do, after you don't walk how you want to walk, after you had sex and did all that, smoke, don't drink, whole monger, all that, he said, but after that, it's a point unto man wants to die. But after that, the judgment. And don't nobody want to be judged now. But after that, Matthew, the 24th chapter, beginning at the 31st verse, and read, it said, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he that he sitteth upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations. And he shall separate them one from another. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. But the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Oh, Heavenly Father in Jesus, God, I'm in a place that I love being at, and that's to preach your word. Something that I don't have to make nothing up about, and I don't have to lie about. God, use me in a way you never used me before. God, I know in my eyes that I can see whatever the money spirit you desire for me to see. God, I know in my ears that I can hear directly from you. But God, most of all, I know in my mouth that I will say nothing to myself, God, but all that you give me to say. Holy Ghost, have your way in this service. Because you say in your word that you be lifted up from the earth, you will draw all men unto me. God, I come to lift up that name that is above every name. And that name is Jesus. Have your way in this service, God. And forever give you the praise. We give you the thank. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say amen. Amen. And you can have your seat. God is so good. And so many times people are saying that um, you can't judge me or you can't tell me where I'm going. You can't tell me that how I'm living. You can't tell me that. But I can tell you by the word. And so many times in the church now, from the poor pit to everybody, I have a Bible right down here. And so many times in the word, they be talking about how people try to squalor the fence. I think man be trying to squalor the Bible. We try to squat us that because we want to do it our way. But God said he's going to put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. And we swear God is just a blessing, God, that he don't do no wrong to nobody. But who made hell? The devil didn't make it. So the same one made heaven made hell. And it said that we feel like we can just continue to do what we want to and we're good. But the Bible is a blind justice. People don't understand that it, you can't see it looking at you and you can't see how it's judging but all the time it's a blind justice. Every word is a blind justice. My word today to you all the other side of God. That's another side of God. And that's what he was telling them in Matthew. He said, he said, he going to abide both when he come in his glory. And, and no one know when he come in the glory. But I think every time someone die, 
that be him coming in his glory because once you are absent from him, it's, it's, it, it, it all starts. The other side of God. What you believe in is what you will be. You know, a lot of times we question ourselves, wonder where we at, where I'm at with God, and we sit and wonder and wonder, we play with it, play with it. So many times we, we don't understand that God got all things already made. There is another side of God, but we act like it ain't another side of God. We want God to be sugar and sweet and always good and always loving and this and that. But if I sent my son down through 42 generations to die for y'all, and y'all don't accept him and live right for him, It'll be another side of me too. You think when somebody put their hand on your chin, you, what you do? That's another side of you. You want to see me cut up? Put your hand on my chin. I'm going to still be saved, but I'm going to cut up. And y'all can say whatever you want to say. Ain't no way that preacher should be like that. You call it what you want to call, but that's mine. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So the, ain't Jesus here? So he feel the same way. And so many times we think that we got a flap going on because we doing our way. And church people are going to find themselves on the other side of God because they thinking that God for the put up with all that they do. And that's why he said in Hebrews 9, 27, and it's a point on the man wants to die, but after that, the judgment. What y'all think about that? You don't did all you want to do all day to day. How much of us is God? That's another side of God. We think that, that God is just good and going to be all right with us. No, because his judgment, see the word judgment means it's an opinion or decision that is based carefully thought it, the act of proceeding or forming an opinion or making a decision after carefully thought. One thing about God, we know he's the creator of all. And y'all know he don't make them kind of mistakes. I heard a preacher say today that I'm not going to push you to heaven. I'm going to pull you to heaven. Because if I push you, I might get tired. You might get tired. You might fall back and hinder me from going. So I'm going to pull you. So when you decide to let go, I'm going to let go too. So it will, I'm still going to make it. But after death, what? So many times we look at it. The high price of disobedience. It's a high price to know what God wants, and then you do what you want to. That's what I keep telling these young children. Y'all keep looking at the world like the world just got a splap going on. Do y'all see all the crazy stuff these young people doing? They don't even know where they're going. But we, oh, we want to we go out there because it looks good. It it's sounds good and all this. But there's another side of God. And all the things you know, that's what I think that's wrong with the church. We don't know how we're going to be judged by what we learn by God. Because he tells us all the time, we think we slick. But God said, y'all ain't slick. Y'all just think y'all slick. And now when he started talking to Matthew, it said Jesus tell about the final judgment. And that's what I read to you in Matthew about that final judgment. But see, the Ecclesiastes tells us in 2, 8 and 11, it said, because sinister against evil work is not executed speedily. See, we sin so much, and we get away with so much, and we said, man, everybody talking about God going to get, get me, I'm going to go to hell, but ain't nothing happened to me. What side of God you on? You on the right side? I'm talking about living. I, I know the judgment going to separate the sheep and the goat, but what side you standing on God right now? I'm talking to us in here. Don't y'all don't y'all go blind on me now. What side are you really on? What is you on the right side of God and you know you're right with God? Are you squatter or are you on the left side? What side you on? Are you a sheep or are you a goat? Because so when you get the bucket up against God's word, you know one thing, you are you a goat. You bucket up against it. So many times the United States want to pray. They want everybody wanna tell her. Everybody in the church want to say, let's pray for the United States. Let's pray for that. What God say? Yeah. United States don't win against God. We pray for so much. He said, but because sinners against evil work is not executed, it's speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of man is fully set 
in them to do evil. That's all it is. That's our mindset. Do y'all think God wanted to pray for everybody? He said, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he set upon the throne of glory and before him shall gather all nations. He said, I'm going to punish everybody. I'm going to punish everybody when I come in my glory because everybody's going to be on heard about me. You know, my, my, my wife, we were talking about how I always saying that people don't tell lies in the church. They sing them. Because y'all know that song that said, Abba Father. He said, he belonged to. Now, y'all know them vows. And then you say, he's, he's what on your tongue? <laughs> now, now, really, is he like that to you for real? See, that's what I'm saying. That's another side of God because we, we good at entertaining each other. But God is, is, God is taking all this down. He, he got the best. Oh, he's taking it down. I'm telling y'all. We must have our account ready. Because we're going to have to, we gonna, everything that we do, we're going to talk to the Lord about it. And that's why I said, the other side of God. That's rough, man. I've been thinking about that all day. But listen to what Jeremiah 6, 7 and 16 said. And that's what I was talking about, how we try to pray for God, pray for these other people. And we try to go against God, and God ain't told us to do something. And that's what I'm saying, that's another side of God. Because if God don't tell me to pray for America, I ain't praying for him. If God don't tell me to pray for you, I ain't praying for you. Because sometimes he tell us, don't pray for them. They ain't worth praying for them. They ain't going to do what I said. Some of y'all in here ain't worth praying for. Y'all just ain't going to, you ain't going to do what God want. You ain't going to do what God want. I'm talking about from the younger to the older, we just got our own mind. And you can't make no excuse, you don't know God. We, we can't say that. Look what he said. He said in, in, in Jeremiah 7 and 16, he said, Therefore, pray not thou for the, this people, neither lift up cry, nor pray for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not. So I'm saying a lot of things we don't understand. There is another side of God. We keep acting like God is just a, a do boy and we can keep running over him. He said the ways of sin is death. He's telling you, you're going to die. But the only thing we realize, we ain't dying. But anytime you sin, you are separated from God. But after, after you die, after you die, oh, it's good now. I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want to right now. But there is going to come a time that there's going to be a separation. He said, he said, and before him shall gather all nations, and he shall separate them one from another. He said, I'm going to separate them one from another. All mine, I'm going to put them on the right. All ain't mine, I don't care for you went to church, where you went to church, who was your pastor. I ain't studying that. I'm checking out your church. I'm going to judge your church. I'm going to judge how you walk. I'm going to judge your thought pattern. I'm going to judge your whole day to day. Where y'all thought was today? Where y'all life was today? Who you talked to? Who you went to? Who, how did you glorify God today? How did you do it? What side was you on in, in work today? Because y'all on the Lord's side, not because y'all at church. What you been all day? That's what God want to know. See, I'm telling y'all, the church has forgot about God. Church people have forgot about God. I'm telling y'all. It's bad, though. We had let a little pandemic come and scare us away from God. But the scripture said, no weapon. It ain't said some weapon. It said, no weapon that formed against me shall prosper. But you can't do that when you ain't living right. You can't, you can't use that scripture. That's what I'm talking about, the other side of God. That's what I'm saying. There is another side of God. But we keep playing, thinking that we are right. Man want to be his own lawgiver. That's our problem. We want to be our own lawgiver. That's why I said, God, what you say? That's why I tell the church all the time, I ain't doing nothing in the church that God tell me to. I don't care who tell me. Well, Pastor, you ought to do this. Well, I should listen to you, who you is. 
he talking to them. You and I need 66 books of the Bible to get to heaven. We need everything. That we, we, man, what man said don't matter. Show me in the book. Show me what the scripture said. Don't tell me what you think. Don't give me your opinion. And then, what, I'm going to tell you another thing, man. All these translations. These translations taking so much out the Bible, it's a shame. And then we want to call, we saying, thou and thee. You tell me you understand what thou and thee is? Now, some of them names back there in the Old Testament, I, I need to let the, uh, the voice, the voice uh, Bible talk. What that name is? So what you miss by being holy. You miss hell. You miss it. You miss it. People don't want to be holy. Everybody want to tell me what the nomination is. You better start saying you're holy. But let me tell y'all one thing about hell. It's hot, eternal, low, and lonely. And let me give you a key to it all. Hell ain't no joke. Anytime you're going to burn all day, all night, every second of the man, who want to go there? Most of y'all that ain't living right. Most of y'all that think God is something to play with, y'all think God is something to play with. That's why I tell you, it ain't no time to play. He said, I'm going to separate them. Uh, God wouldn't do nothing like that. He ain't that kind of God. Listen to what he said in Romans 14 and 12. He said, so then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Go on and sing the song my mama prayed for me. Go on and say, my mama prayed for me, your daddy prayed for you, sister, them, they dropped a the rabbit toe by you. It ain't going to do no good. Every man, every woman in here, child, going to have to get accountable for themselves. And when you die, you can have a party, you can have a good time all the time. Go on and get high, go on and drink, go on and smoke. You know what side you're going to. I'm giving, I'm giving you early glory. I'm telling you right now, go on to the left. You know, I wouldn't come in here. I wouldn't, if I, my mind went on getting right, I wouldn't come in here every service and sit in here and go to hell from church. I just wouldn't do it. I ain't had no bad time when I was in the world. Lord, how much? I don't want to go back, but I ain't had no bad time. I can tell y'all that. This is what it said in Romans 4 and 7. He said, but none of us live to himself and none of us die to himself. God trying to tell us something. None of us live to yourself, none of us die. And people think, well, I, well, you know, I, I might get the COVID. Well, what if you have a wreck? People ain't stopped dying from cancer. Everybody trying to put a mask on. Shoot, what about all the other stuff? What about your sin? Y'all believe y'all believe the CDC, not Christ the man of change. <laughs> y'all believe the other CDC. This is what God said. He's telling us this because He is going to show us who He is in due time. Church people, is it what God say or what you feel? Look at y'all sitting here. See, if if, if y'all pray would have been right right there. This is what y'all will be dancing off of. But see, you can't dance off that because you got to sit and plunder in your heart. You got to sit and wonder, sis. Now, here, Pastor, talking about what side I'm on. Well, if, it, if it's my right, I'm on the right side. But it ain't your right. It's my right. Now, I want you to ask Ask yourself, don't, don't lie to yourself because it's bad when you start lying to yourself and then you believe it. If you was to die, or if God were to come in right now, what side? It ain't no time to play. I told you, I told Ella I got an attitude preaching now because there's no time to play because there's too many people going to hell from church. And y'all sitting there right now, know the truth, and still going to hell. That's even making worse. We know what God expects of us. We know, but we choose to say, well, everybody else said God is a God of love. Let them keep lying to you. Why open the, why open the earth up for them? This is what it said. In the Psalm 9 and 17, it said, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. 
He's telling us he, he got so much in the Bible and we don't believe it. Because we still trying to figure God out. What when he don't make no sense? What we do then? God is telling us, Terry, they don't understand what I'm going to do. He tell you, Mark 9, now 9, 44. He said, where well, the worm die not, and the fire is not quit. That's everlasting, y'all. That's, that's everlasting. It hurt me to get my hand burnt. And sometimes the sun gets so hot that it burns. So when you start talking about oh, I'm in fire, and it burning forever, and y'all know what get me, though? I still ask that question. What kind of fire in hell that when they say hell going to be dark, but they say you're going to be able to see? What kind of fire is that? What kind of fire is that will burn like that, and it's dark in there, but you're going to be able to see? And you know what? A lot of y'all plan to make a preparation to go there. Right than him, we, plan, we, we gonna go to hell right from church. And that's the thing I don't say don't make no sense. Because if I hear the truth and I know what God is saying, then I need to start changing as I hear. That's why he said the day that you hear my voice, he said harden not your heart. He come back in Romans 5 and 3, he said, for even Christ pleased not himself. Now y'all know it bad when, when they said Jesus ain't pleased himself and he will. What y'all do today? What y'all do to say, what? Church, what y'all do today? It said Christ please not itself. I'm waiting on y'all. Y'all did what y'all wanted to do. I know I dropped the bomb then because ain't nobody, ain't anybody like that. Then we, we, we deal with it because it said, the church people are going to find themselves on the other side of God. Because now the preacher's trying to change what God's saying to fit whoever, to just have a, 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 a congregation. And then when they die, because I looked at the, uh, the movie, said the thief in the night, and the preacher got left behind. He didn't believe what he was preaching. And most of y'all don't believe what I'm preaching. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to get left with y'all. <laughs> I ain't doing it. If you get to heaven, you got to get there God way. Can't, you can't get there no other way. I love God because he first loved me. Y'all tell me. Is there another side of God? He cared enough about us when we wouldn't even thought of to let his son die. To redeem us back to him. But now we want to do him anyway. He presented his son body and we won't present our body. Ain't it something? You know he got, he, he got to be something different. He said, look here. He said, and before him shall gather all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divide his sheep from the goat. And he shall set the sheep on the right and the goat on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on the right, Pastor Simba, he going to say y'all name because y'all ain't on the right. He going to say, Apostle Simmer, what my daddy don't prepare for you. And I like one thing about God, that he going to allow his people to see over in the, the caucus in hell to see who down there. What y'all going to do then? Who is your shepherd? Who are you following? Who are your shepherd? That's what I'm saying. He left us a, a great guideline right here. He left us a great guideline, and we going by everything but the guideline. I, I love him, though. I can hear y'all. Y'all voice ain't sounding good. And you know, so many times we were talking about how the, the church likes certain stuff in the Bible and certain stuff we don't like. You know, like when we be saying that the uh, scripture talks about that God will throw all your, 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 your sin in the depths of the sea. They used to say the sea of forgiveness. And everybody jump off that scripture. Right? Now let me show you the other side of God. Ezekiel 18 and 24. Can you turn that for me? 
Because I don't want y'all to think I'm making up, man. But we quick to say these preachers be making up stuff. So I'm trying not to be a preacher y'all going to say that about. But I'm trying to help y'all see where you're going. I said, that's a good pastor right there. What he said. It said in Ezekiel 18 and 24, it said, But when the righteous turn away from his righteousness and commit iniquity, he knew it was sin. He knew what he was doing. So once you find out what sin is, when I tell you that smoking is a sin and you still smoke, that means you ain't sinning no more. You committing iniquity. So now you know what sin was. When I tell you you can't shack and you can't hold mug, you can't have unlawful sex and you have sex. And you know how y'all let y'all let children be sitting y'all let bodies over the over the uh, picture camera to y'all let boyfriends. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. It said, but when the righteous turn away from his righteousness and commit iniquity and do according to all the abomination that a wicked man do, shall he live? Ezekiel was asked a question. He said, shall he live? So when you're committing sin and you don't like what righteousness is, should you live? That's what God asked him right here. He, he said, should you live? And a lot of us sitting right in here, y'all ain't alive. Remember that movie, The uh, Return of the Living Dead? You know, they were they was, they was supposed to be alive. He said, all his righteousness, that's what y'all need to listen to, all his righteousness that he has done shall not be mentioned. So that means here I am, I've been saved for 20 years, living right, and then all of a sudden, I decide to get on the left side of God. I don't want to be on the right side of God. And all I'm going to talk about is what I did since I've been in the church, how long I've been in the church. You know that was getting me by people. Why do you always talk about what they used to do, what they do in the day? They ain't still got the same anointing. They ain't still got the same power today. What side they on God? What side you on God that God ain't going to mention? None of your righteous no more. Boy, that's a, that's, that's a bad way to feel. Don't win in the church and did all this good stuff for God. And then all of a sudden, now God said, I ain't even going to mention. <laughs> I ain't going to mention. Let me say, he said, all his righteousness, not some of it. He said, I ain't talking about none of it because you shouldn't have went back against me. The other side of God, he said, yeah, when you were serving me, yeah, I died for you, but now you don't win against me. So how many people will I kill if I go against God now? I'm going to kill all y'all. I'm going to kill everybody in here if I go against God. So that's why he said, Terry, what you been did or what you were doing, and then we're gonna be mentioned. So he ain't got just my name on there. You know that some of y'all were doing good when y'all were first in the church. And now you ain't doing that good. And one thing I don't let take me there, the show ain't gonna let Trina take me to hell. My wife ain't taking me to hell, she better go to hell by herself. I ain't going with her. I ain't going with her. I got too much sin. If she want to stop in the rain, she's just going to hell by herself. Now, I'm going to try to help her, but she ain't dragging me. Tell me she don't want to come to church today. Well, stay your little self at home. But I'm, I'm getting up out of here. Before and after you were saved, how you looking? Before you were saved and after you were saved, how you look now? I promise you right now, some of y'all look just like y'all were when you, before. You know the before picture. See, that's what I'm telling y'all about the internet. The internet will mess y'all up. Y'all know them filter? You know good and well you don't look like that. I'm just telling y'all, if I was in the world and somebody gave me a filter and they can't see me, I said, where, where your sister at? Where, where, where your sister at or somebody, your mama or somebody? Who, this ain't you. I'm just trying to find out because you, you Fool me, so I'm trying to figure out where you, where you, is you, is you, is the, is the filter hiding behind you, what? Well, you know a lot of y'all in here singing that God had a filter. 
Because you really wonder who you was saying when y'all was in the aisle. That had to be a filter. That had to be some filter. So a lot of y'all already don't lie to God. I know he's going to ask where y'all at too. The high price of disobedience. We do too many things that's against God that we know wrong. You know what I'm saying? We wrong for that. Well, this is what he said. He said, all his righteousness that he has done shall not be mentioned in his trespass that he has trespassed and in his sin that he has sinned in them. The ways of sin is still dealt. He's telling you that. He went well, back in his ego. He came to the New Testament told you the ways of sin is death. Lying is death. Acting like you all right with God. Death. In the church, no, you ain't saved. Death. Sitting there hearing the truth. Death. He said, the day that you hear my voice, harden out your heart. You still harden your heart because y'all going to leave him today acting like God good to you. He is not a good boy. He's telling them that. He said, in James 1 and 22, he said, be you a doer of the word. Not a hear only. Now, I ain't going to get to the deceiving yourself. I ain't going to get to that. He said, be a doer of the word. The things you hear him preach and don't hear him preaching him, how many of us do? So that means we already going to see the other side of God because he just told us to be a doer of the word. He said, and that's why he said Matthew 4 and 4, he said, uh, man shall not live by your, your bread alone, your church of chicken, your pie pie. He said, man shall not live by every, by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out the mouth of God, man shall live by. Now, my question to y'all, looking at James, what you living by? That means you're already on the wrong side of God. Ain't, 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 ain't no question about it. He said, and not a hear only. You hear God's word, you hear what you're supposed to be doing, and he tell you not to harden your heart, and then you go right and do what you want to do. Because we see the church, preachers being squatter, praise leaders being squatter, everybody squatter, deacons squatter, everybody squatter the word of God. One day they're doing right, the next day they're doing wrong. One day they're doing right, Next they're doing around. So you said, if he can do it, and that's the way he living. Now I'm going to tell you what y'all do when somebody living right. Ask me what else. They become Stevie. When people live right, y'all act like y'all don't even see him. Y'all, if he can live right all he want to do, you, gonna, you ain't going to pay that person no attention. You'll go look at somebody else that's living like you. We kissing cousins. He said, for I have no pleasure in the death of him that died, said the Lord of God. Wherefore, turn yourself, huh, and live. He said, turn yourself and live. Man, Pastor, see, you, 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 you just don't understand. What I don't understand? Y'all always talking. But there is another side of God. Yeah. Prove it to me, Pastor. Turn with Deuteronomy, the, uh, the uh, Deuteronomy, the, the 20th chapter, where all the black Israelites live at. All them that, that they, 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 they black Israelite, and then they, they, here we got uh, Deuteronomy 28 from 1 through 14, talk about the blessing, and then from 15 to 68, talk about the cursing. And then you talking about, we God chosen people. My question is, then how he want you to live? Now, I'm going to show you what he going to do to all the black ears of life. Because there is another side. Y'all let Tupac fool y'all that only God can judge you. Let Tupac fool y'all. Because in John 5 and 22, it said, for the Father judge no man, but has committed all judgment unto the Son. And he got a carefully 
thought this out. Make the right decision. You need to go to the left. Pastor, you go to the right. You see him keep seeing putting pastor to the right. I ain't going to the left. Y'all got to do room 28. Y'all make sure y'all share it with black Israelite people. Don't let them go. Don't let them go to hell. In 61, 20 and 61, he said, also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of the law, them will, I, will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Y'all see that? And you shall be lifted, left few in number, whereas you were as the stars of heaven. See, he said, now one time you were more than a star because he said he would get Abraham all these people. So that means Abraham was black. We ain't going to bother that. We're going to go along with it. But there is another side of God. And I'm talking about the other side of God. I'm talking about the, the wrath side of God. I'm talking about where you're supposed to be going to heaven, but you're going to hell because there's a, another side of God. The creator that created heaven is the same one that created hell. He, it's another side to him. That's what I'm telling y'all. And we sit him and keep going after this stuff that is, is temporarily. We, going, we love temporarily stuff. And he said, I'm trying to give you eternity. This is what he said. He said, he said, because thou would not obey the voice of the Lord thou God. That's how they got on the slave ship. They wouldn't obey the voice of the Lord. There is a, another side of God. Y'all tell me, how y'all obeying it? How, how we obeying it? What is God telling us, or what is God saying to us, or what preach words you heard that you ain't obeying? What kind of vessel you are? Because after hearing the vessel on, all of us should have been changing. We should have been, we should have been taking all of this self out, turning upside down, and emptying out of self out. But instead, y'all think God gonna keep playing with y'all. This is what he said. He's telling right here, he said, he said. And it shall come to pass that the Lord rejoice over you to do you good. Ain't that some? And to multiply you. So the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you. And that's another sign. How you, God, how you change that fast? How you, God, how you change that fast? Help me, Lord, tell me what happened. I was right with you one time. You were telling me you were rejoicing on me. And then all of a sudden now, you tell me there's another side of that fast. That's how fast some of y'all going to go to hell. That's how fast some of y'all going to switch out on God. The next time you switch out on God might be your last time. Talking about you love God, and then you hear God true, and then you switch out. This is what he said. For all y'all, you know, read it. Take it home to somebody. Give it to somebody. This is what it said. There's a place called hell. You on God payroll, but working for the devil. God created you, but you're using all your energy for the devil. Right here in the church. We ain't got to go outside the church. We're us and him. That's why God keeps sending the right now word for us, and we want some sugar. We want somebody to play with us, because everybody else running around clubbing and still singing in the choir, homonging people pregnant, in the choir pregnant, and ain't got no hum. That ain't church. That ain't church. But after death, what? After you die, what? Got people talking about, I believe part of the Bible. Going straight to hell, half of the Bible. This is what he said. He said, and it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoice over you to do you good and to multiply you. He said, I'm trying to give you some stuff. I'm trying to be a blessing to you. And we choose to live any kind of way. We want to go after the world. 
You know, I, that would get me about y'all. So many of y'all talk to me and talk like y'all really want to be right with God. And as soon as you turn your back, you switch out. I know you be lying. And I sit right there and let you go and get the lie. Go and get the lie. Because you don't know uh, what they do. Alanis and Fire. They talked to Peter and thought they were talking to Peter. And God was right there. The Holy Ghost was right there. So most time when y'all lie to me, even on the phone, God right there. But see, y'all don't believe the Bible like that. You know I just said what you believe will be who you are. If you really believe, you wouldn't lie. This is what he said. I love that scripture right there. That's the 63rd verse that you're going to try to give to somebody. It shall come to the path that as the Lord rejoice over you to do you good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught. He said, I'm going to put you on break. He said, I'm going to stop you. I'm going to, you all the time you've been running around doing what you want to do. He said, I'm going to put you to naught. He said, I'm going to just stop you. Why ain't God bad? Seem like y'all ought to put yourself on break. Seem like y'all ought to stop yourself tonight. Why you still got life in you? Why you still hearing the word? God said, there is another side of me. When I ain't going to just wait to get to heaven to separate y'all. See, y'all think God just waiting to heaven. He already will separate you right now. Some of y'all on the left side right now. And you don't even know it. You, you, you're just one step away from death. Lord, him us. The high price of disobedience. You know what God said, but you get, you pay you gonna pay a high price. I mean, I just I just feel I I, I ain't gonna start feel bad for you. This is what Proverbs 26, 27. Whosoever dig a pit shall fall therein. You know how some of y'all be digging pits for me and stuff like that, going and getting me all that, trying to make me look wrong like that. You gonna fall in it. God God mean that when He said, "Touch not my anointing, and do my prophet no harm." But see. The preachers try to make it look like they the only one anointed. Anyone with Christ for real is anointed. Stop letting them use that on you to tell you, don't put your mouth on me. If he's if he doing wrong, he ain't God man anyway. Then they tell you, don't put your mouth on me. No, they don't want you to tell on them. If he assists sister, tell him. A sister preacher, he'll pedophile, he'll pedophile. Just tell on him. He said, whosoever dig a pit, shall fall therein, and he that rolls a stone, it will return uh, upon them. Well, I said, God, you also. I don't care what they say. They can talk about you all they want. They can talk about you all they want. I told the church, I said, don't overstep God's word. Y'all heard that message, huh? And y'all still doing (laughs) y'all. I'm just looking at y'all. On y'all way to hell, right from the church. This is what he said. He said, bring you to naught, and you shall be plucked from off the land, whether thou go to possess it. You know all y'all career. You be going for a career, I'm about to graduate. Yeah. <laughs> I said, boy, if God ain't got a sense of humor, God, God will show you some stuff, man. People, people just don't want to believe. This is what it says in Psalm 115, 17. The dead praise not the Lord. So some of y'all was in that aisle. I don't, don't want to talk about y'all. <laughs> he said you might wonder what you must do to escape the torment of hell. The answer is the same one that Jesus gave to Nicodemus. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father. You are not promised another day of this earth tomorrow. Might be too late. What y'all waiting on? When y'all gonna get yourself together? This is what he said. He said, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one 
end of the earth unto the other. Ooh, whoa! Boy, like, 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 I, sometimes I just, when I read stuff like that, I just get almost loose. Yeah. What y'all feel when you read that? One time he rejoicing over it, the next time he going to destroy you. On the same scripture. Yeah. And then they try to make God like he'll do, boy. I mean, I, I, did y'all see, did y'all hear that? He did the same thing with the ways of sin. He said the ways of sin is death. But the gift of God, he gave you two changes right there. You can take me now and get rid of your sin. You know, somewhere in the Bible they talk about in Ezekiel that he ain't equal. Oh, he equal. I ain't talking about the, 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 the sugar. He's a, he's, he's a promise keeper. Because if he promised you hell, he can't go against it, y'all. If he promised you some people going to hell, he cannot go against it. He ain't like a liar. This is what he said. He said, the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even to the other. And thou, thou shall serve other gods. He said, I'm going to let you serve other gods because that's what you've been doing all the time. He said, I ain't going to be mad with you. Do y'all know God is a jealous God? Y'all, we use all these names for God. He else shall die. He did. I don't never hear nobody say his name is jealous. His name is jealous. So y'all know what jealous is? When your husband or your man or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, whatever one, cheat on you. Seeing two girls on Facebook talking about, oh, she's treating me so nice. She the best thing ever happened to me. God burned them together like they twins. Stick them joker together and burn them like they twins. Burn them, burn them just like they stuck together. I'm going to tell y'all, some of y'all in here got that old mind, that old homosexual mind. They ain't putting all that stuff on the news for nothing. Some of y'all like it. The church is trying to approve what God disapproved. That's our problem in here. We think we good. Y'all hear what he said? He said, thou, thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy father have known, even wood and stone. You just serve anything. That's what them black Israelites do. They serve anything. They don't know what they, they, don't know what they might. They might be with a rock tomorrow. Y'all know one thing about heaven? It's membership only. You, you, can't, you can't go there with a Bible, y'all. Y'all, you can't walk in heaven with a Bible. You can't walk. Don't think, don't think. Them preachers putting y'all in, putting y'all in, and talking about, he was in the choir when he was five. He 85, ain't been made to church. You going to hell, brother. Don't let, I don't care about them lying. Y'all go to the funeral and talk about, man, John went to, John went where? What John? Y'all preach a lie. Ain't happening. Ain't no sister gonna walk around in heaven. Now I see some of y'all agreeing with me about no sister. But a lot of y'all ain't doing what God said. You ain't going either. Shake on that too. Be right with God. Don't be wrong with God. We, we, we got to clap with the sister. But half of y'all, when I was talking about the disobedience, you ain't saying nothing. That's what he said. He said he talked. He was telling Lazarus. He said, uh, Lazarus wanted somebody to go tell his brother. He said, man, look. If you won't listen to Apostle Simmer, ain't no use you let nobody go tell your brother nothing. We ain't doing that today. Who is on the Lord's side? Any of y'all on the Lord's side? This is what Titus 2 and 11 and 12 said. It said, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appealed unto all men. Now, what he's saying there, it said, now, it has appeared to all men. 
So ain't no man can go before God and say, you didn't let me have salvation. Now the Bible says it will appear to all men. Now for all y'all women trying to act like it ain't appear to y'all, y'all was included. Because God don't look at female and male. He called all his son. So you know some of y'all women try to get sick. See, I told you. You see right there? God told, he said, feed the flock, not fleece the flock. So many people is preaching is fleecing God's people. The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that the nine ungodly. He said, the nine, the nine mean it's over. You ain't, you ain't going to get it, right? So how many of y'all on the nine ungodly? Now let me tell you, explain ungodly, who you be around. I don't care if it's family members. That ain't what that scripture mean. I'm going to interpret that my own self. That's the problem. He said, how can they hear without a preacher? <laughs> well, God got you covered. They said God got a sense of humor. He going to send a lot of people to hell off of them trying to, you know, rewrite the Bible. He said, a nine ungodly and worldly lust. He ain't said just a little bit of lust. He said worldly lust. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. It's all against God. What that song y'all was singing? Mm-hmm. It's one more word. We should live soberly. It ain't talking about drinking. So all y'all finna say, oh, I'm sober, I don't drink. He wasn't talking about that sober. He's talking about sober by his word, living by his word, sober. How many of y'all on this side? I ain't going to step over there and ask y'all that. Because I just told y'all where all lies are going. So if I step over there, some of y'all going to lie. God ain't sent the word to him just to play. He's trying to tell you what side you should be on. But he's telling you you ain't on that side. But I'm going to step over here and let y'all lie. How many of y'all on the righteous side? Everything is righteous. The only thing about that is that his righteous ain't your righteous. It got the line of what, what the Bible said. It said, world of lust. He said, we should live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world. I love God because he, he, be, he be showing me so much stuff. And I be saying, God, you really want me to say that? He said, yeah, I want you to say it. Then I put it in the Bible. Let's look at this right here. In Matthew 24, you ain't even got to go that far because I know y'all ain't been turning y'all Bible because a lot of y'all in a daze. Ain't like this y'all first time hearing me preach, but y'all act like y'all in the day. I know what that means. S-I-N-N-E-R. -E I broke it down. You sin, you're a sinner. I know y'all didn't think I knew what I was saying. This is what he said. He said, verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass Till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. That's why he's telling you his word going to still judge you like Deuteronomy. I think it's bad to be think you living and in, in, in God don't pull the plug on you. You know, like, this is what he said. He said in 30 Hebrew, he said, but of the day and hour, no man. Y'all hear that? No man. No, not the angel in heaven. You mean the angel in heaven ain't going to know? But my father. One scripture said even Jesus ain't going to know. So how y'all playing and y'all, the angels don't know, Jesus don't know, 
and y'all taking time to act like y'all got time to get ready. I tell you right now, 80% of us right now here going to hell. Right now here going to hell. Y'all believe me? Okay. Tell me who ain't going. I tell you one thing, them hands ain't stand up long. I tell you one thing, I don't know if y'all just waiting for me to not look or what, but if them hands ain't stand up long, I'll be sure. Should I put no hands up? I ain't going. Ain't no ain't no prepper, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no reservation for me in hell. That's why all these preachers can't get mad. I ain't no people. They want me to come and preach about somebody. Playtime is over with no compromise. Ooh, boy, I just love God like that. Do y'all love him? Let me finish this right here because y'all don't love him. He said, but my father on. He said, but as the day of Noah were, so also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the day of uh, for as in the day, days that were before the flood, they was eating. Y'all know we can put on a cook up. Y'all, y'all know Cornerstone can put on a cook up in a in a in a in a in a, in a New York minute. Cause all of be ready to eat. We just gonna be ready to eat God's word. But a cookout, we ready to eat. This is what he said. He said in James 0 and 17, he said, Therefore to him that knows to do good and do it not, to him it is sin. I know I should be loving. I know I shouldn't be lying. Y'all see it with me? He said they was eating and drinking. Give me a coat, a little coat. Eating, drinking. He said, Mary, and giving him Mary. We just had a, a wedding. One of they don't marry God. We got a lot of marriage going to him, but they ain't marrying God. Ain't no marriage going to work with both people. Ain't saved. Ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. That's why he put a name on How can two walk together? And a lot of time in him, we had like one person that said, I believe a lot of times both of y'all ain't saved. Because what one of us should be doing that Noah's right to do, we should continue to do it. Regardless of what. I ain't telling you to compromise, you know, like being in no threesome or nothing like that. That's what he want to do or she want to do. I ain't talking about that kind of compromise. You know, because sometimes Y'all husband and wife, you want the other one to do stuff that the other one do, and then you want, you, you know, you, you know. You know, because we start watching porn and stuff, and then we want our wife to do somebody else. Oh, other, other, young, you know, y'all women watch porn too now, don't y'all lie? What he said? He said, giving in marriage. He said, until the day that Noah entered the ark, he said, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Y'all know when Noah would be on that ark? Wasn't nobody paying no attention. They thought Noah was crazy. Just like what I'm preaching now, everybody think I'm crazy. I'm still trying to build an ark of safety with God. And y'all, 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 I'm telling y'all it ain't gonna rain. I'm telling y'all Palatine coming. But y'all still wanna keep hoeing around. Y'all still want to, you look at you, look at y'all. Y'all ain't happy about the word of God. A believer be happy. You see that sister back there? She raised her hand, agreeing with the word. The rest of y'all sitting there look like, uh, I ain't even gonna tell y'all what y'all look like. But that's our problem. We play with God, and we know we ain't right with God. And then we hear the word, we try to change. This is what James 4 and 4 said. It said, you are dutch and you are dutch. He said, no. <coughs> he said, know ye not that friendship of the world is the enemy with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Now, how, how, that's self-explanatory. And y'all have said, oh, I, I, just, I, I just, you know.
You know what I'm talking about? See, the apostle all in this somebody's business. <coughs> this is what he said. He said in John 3 and 36, he said, He that believe on the Son has everlasting life. And he that believe not the Son shall not see life. Let me tell y'all something. When you don't do what the word says, you don't believe. You don't believe. I don't care how you put it, how you say it. And then I will let nobody tell me nothing about the God that ain't saved. That they life tore up and ragged, you couldn't tell me nothing. No, 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 no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Is the church still here? I pray y'all don't leave me. That's what it said. God is trying to tell us. And this is how God knew us. And uh, this is how he said. In the vision of 139, it said, God is all seeing, all knowing, all holy, all present. God knows us. God is with us. He said, that's what God is. And his great gift is to allow us to know him. Ain't that something? Ain't that, ain't that something, y'all? Now, we think God don't know us. But I'm going to prove to y'all that he knows. The first verse said, Oh, Lord. Thou hast searched me and known me. That's why he can judge us rightly. That's why he can put us where we need to be put. He ain't going to be fumbling around and saying, well, I don't know if it's Terry almost saying, I don't know that. He said, oh, Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou know my down setting. He said, I know what you did last night. I know what you did at work. I know what you did when you went to the bathroom. I know what you did when you, when you got on Facebook. I know what you did. I know all that you've done. So you, you can fool me that you've been praying all day. You've been fasting all day. You can tell me anything you want to tell me. The one you got to worry about is the one that is keeping good record. Because I'm going to sleep. I told y'all in 2020, it would be a great falling away from the church. Y'all remember I told y'all that? Look at it now. He said, thou know my down setting, my uprising. He know you got it this morning. Whether you say, Lord, thank you or not. Because someone rolled out of seven because the alarm clock woke us up. What happened to the praise, y'all? Listen, in 1 Corinthians 8 and 12, he said, but when you sin so against the brother and wound their weak conscience, you have sinned against Christ. I told you he knew it all. He said, thou know thy down setting, my uprising. Thou understand my thoughts afar off. That was the two heads for us, sir. He know the tents of your heart. How can you hide from him? There is another side to God. And it's the rap side of God. And people don't want to see that side. He said, thou can pass my past and my land down and are acquainted with all my ways. He said, God, sound like you know me. Don't it, don't it sound like you know y'all? He said, but there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O oh Lord, thou know it all together. Oh God, you awesome. Thou have set me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. He said, the things you know about me, I don't even know how you know it. Well, let me tell you how you know it. He created you. Anytime he can know the the house and Deacon McGee head and he ain't got no. 
You know he bad. I don't, I don't look like he got no help, but God know how many has he got. He said, where shall I go from thy spirit, and where shall I flee from thy presence? After I don't win against you. So God said, regardless of what, that's another side of me, but you can't hide. He said, y'all can't hide. I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere. He said, you can't hide. He's telling y'all that. That's what I love about God. This is what he said. He said, this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and me and little darkness rather than light because their deeds was evil. That's why people won't come here. They don't want to come nowhere like this where light being shined at. And most of y'all act like y'all want to be here, but y'all got shades on. Y'all don't see the real light because if we would, it had to change it. This is what he said. He's talking to, he said, well, shall I go from thy spirit? He asked him questions. And well, shall I flee from thy presence? He said, where? Y'all see that? <laughs> he said, if I descend in, up into heaven, thou down. Y'all remember that time I was talking about if I can make y'all walls and sheep talk? I can't do that. If God check your phone and put, your, put what you want on the phone on the sky. Because you know we think them phones hide a lot. He said, if I ascend into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold. So you mean if I go to hell to be burning, God going to come talk to me in hell? They got one scripture said when he uh, blow the trumpet, you know, everybody's trying to get cremated now. Think they're going to get, get, they're going to get burned twice. They're going to get burned twice. When he when he when he blow the trumpet, bum, 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 that, that that cremated stuff got to come together. Every fish that don't bid on y'all, then God have one fish to spit up a joker. You coming back up, baby? You coming back up? I feel sorry for y'all. I do. I really do. I feel sorry for y'all. I feel sorry for y'all. This is what he said. He said. He said, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, trying to hide, even the night shall be light about me. Boy, that boy God power. Yea, the darkness hide not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both a light to thee. Y'all tell me God ain't bad. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're going to do. He, 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 he trying to get us to do right. The other side of God. He said there's the other side of him. And I said, God, I don't want to see that side. I don't want to have no dealing with that side. I just don't want to, I just don't want to do it, God. He said, why, Terry? It ain't that bad. Yes, it is, Lord. Yes, it is. He said in the Proverbs 1 and, and 24. He said, because I have called you, called, and you refuse. <coughs> this is what he's doing right now. This is calling. He calling us to try to get us right. He's telling y'all that y'all don't want to see this other side of me. You know, as some people, I used to tell my wife, don't, 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 don't make me switch out because you know, that, that the other side of Terry ain't, ain't good. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody here got the other side. I don't see another side of Trina sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm, she's just as sweet. <laughs> he said, because I have called and you refuse, I have scratched out my hand and no man regard. That's what he's doing right now. He's telling y'all, you don't want this side of me. 
You don't even want to get close to that side of me. He's telling you. He's telling you. He's telling you. Everybody want to be there. But I told you in Hebrews 9, 27, there is a judgment coming after you die. So you can enjoy it. Do all you want to do. You can stay in the world. You can hold monger. You can do whatever you want to. You can not surrender to me. But when you die, I'm putting you to the other side. Because all you've been is a goat bucking up against what I've been telling you. This is what he said. He said, because I have called and you refused, I have scratched out my hand and no man regard it. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of, of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. He said, I'm going to be a comedian at what you've done. You got away with a long time, but I'm the one cracking jokes now. You laughed at my word, you laughed at my man of God, but in my time, he said, I will mock when you fear, when your fear come. When you fear come, a desolate, and your destruction come as a whirlwind. When the stress and anger come upon you, he said, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. He said, some of y'all, if I, if, I, if I made your children sick, or I made your parents sick, somebody you love, you'll be calling on me. But he said right there, you won't know if I'm an answer or not. That's another side. That's another side of God that people don't talk about. People don't want to talk about this side of God. But he, it's in there. It's in there. Preachers don't want to tell their people this, but they need to know this. This stuff you're doing against God, it's going to come back on you. All the stuff y'all doing. And then the one scripture tell you about how you treat your parents. He said you shown your life. And we don't believe that. Because why? We want to enjoy us. What did he say? He said, who can follow you to Jesus? Who can follow y'all to Jesus? Can anybody on y'all job follow y'all to Jesus? Yeah. Why ain't nobody came with you? Yeah. What y'all doing that ain't nobody following y'all? Huh? God will judge every man by his word. He's not going to judge you by what the preacher said. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't be nowhere where the preacher ain't preaching truth. I wouldn't go there. I ain't lying. I can go to hell all by myself. Like y'all, like they be saying, I can do bad all by myself. I can go to hell by myself. I don't need nobody to help me go to hell that ain't, ain't going to preach the truth. I need some guidance. You know, like me, if I was to travel to Texas right now or somewhere like that, I need a GPS. If you're going to follow God, you need the Holy Ghost. And most of y'all ain't got that. This is what he said. I'm, I'm going to get y'all out of here. He said, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early. Getting up early now. Couldn't get you up early when, 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 when they didn't want to come to prayer. But now you're getting up early. Because <laughs> you want something from it. He said, but they shall not find it. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear of the Lord. He said, in the world, they would none of my counsel. They despise all my, y'all hear that? Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. He said, that's what I'm going to leave them with. And God trying to tell us something that is more to him than just trying to get something from me on Christmas. He said, that's more and more to me than just that. And now people want to just play. But playtime is really over. And as I close, he said in John 14, 23, he said, Jesus answered and said unto him, if a man loved me, he would keep my word. And my father would love him. And we would come unto him and make our boy with him. He that loved me not, keep it not my saying. And the word which you hear 
is not mine, but the Father who sent me. He said, it ain't even mine, but you want to do your own thing. For that cause, you're going to meet the person that you really don't want to meet. Watch that for, for you know not what hour your Lord do come in. He said, there is another side to God. One thing I said to myself, I, I, I was talking to myself today and I said, like they be saying, hold on, let go. Y'all get that? Hold on, let go. And I said to myself, hold to God, let go of sin. You know how you be saying, hold on, let go. Hold on, let go. It said, hold on to Jesus and let go of everything against God. I am a direct and I am plain. Other, not the same, different or one. Something as being different. Other. God is trying to tell us something. I hope we know it. He said, order my steps in the word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Don't let them things that I desire have dominion over me. So please, God, don't do it. If there's ever time to start positioning yourself to live right for God, it's really now. And God ain't playing. God is trying to tell us there's a lot going on now. It's perilous time, but God said we can do it. There were ten virgins, five wise and five foolish, and that's what we're doing to him. We stand on the foolish side of God. Deuteronomy 30 and 19 said, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. He said, therefore choose life. That both, both thou and thou seed may live. And a lot of times parents are so caught up in themselves, they won't make a sacrifice that they churn can know God. I don't understand that. We enjoying life and the way the world going, we not putting them in front of our churn that they can be able to sustain all this crazy stuff going on. If they see two boys or two girls kissing, they know that's against God. If we don't teach them that, they ain't going to know it. Forsaking all, I'm going to follow God. I don't care how nobody feel about me, what nobody think about me, my mind made up. When it said holiness of hell, you got a choice to make. When it said love or hate, you got a choice to make. When it said life or death, you got a choice to make. Blessing and cursing, you got a choice to make. Death and evil, you got a choice. God is so good, y'all. All I can tell him is keep telling me what you want. Many books can inform you, but there's only one book that can transform you. There's only one book. It's not going to do it. Better to lose people than to lose God. People today are being taught sin managing rather than sin prevention. For they, are, for they being ignorant of God's righteous, going about to establish their own righteous, having not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. God is a fact, and he's not a feeling. What I'm saying to y'all, y'all let people fool y'all that going to all these churches that ain't getting the truth, and God is giving you the truth, and y'all still want to do what you want to do. But God said, you better know one thing. There is another side to me. I sent my son to pay a debt that no man can pay. And a debt that he did not owe. So when I, when, when I come to get you, or when I send the reaper to get you, you ain't going to have a chance to be getting it right then. It's going to be too late. 
God is caring about us. And I, I, I do, I, I do, this is how I feel. I would rather for everybody that don't have plans to try to really change, I pray you leave. Because those spirits, they attach to stuff. And you bring it in here, it attach to stuff. If your mind ain't on changing, you just hindering somebody else. Because spirit know each other. Y'all can play as you want to. There is another side to God. 